I'm talking about today comes from the 1950s and it is a British made camera. The 1950s was actually quite good for the English man and British manufacturing camera industry because there was export, sorry, there was import duties on cameras. I think the idea was to try to encourage industry and this is typical from the period. Ilford was a well-known and still is a well-known company that makes films and papers and they produced a number of cameras but the cameras were often made by different people. It's interesting that this camera was made in Birmingham and Birmingham was also home of the Coronet company. Whether Coronet knows, made the camera I don't know. I have no doubt someone's going to tell me. <laughs> but Birmingham was well known for its metal industry but in the 50s it seemed to boom with new plastics. Now so we have a very much almost like a box camera and some people just do describe this as a box camera. It's box in shape but made from plastic. The lens here is supposed to move outwards for portraits and in for landscapes. Unfortunately the it's so stiff it doesn't move so I've had to um, concentrate on using it for um, landscapes. It opens nice and easily, opens at the bottom here, camera opens. Now the legend is that this plane is slightly rounded here to compensate for the lens. The shutter is a rotary type of shutter and this seems to be working very smoothly. We do have a tripod brush on the bottom but in plastic. I quite like the Art Deco look of the camera. But if you think of it, the 1950s is really more of a modernist era than Art Deco. Um, having said that, as I said, this is quite a nice. Let's. This is a nice looking camera. I quite like the design here. And again, that's very Art Deco with the slight nod to sunsets and the sun and fans. And if we, and as I was making this, I've just realised the lens has actually fallen out. That's never happened before me. And you can see, it's a single, it's a single element lens um, of a very simple construction. And I didn't realise this. I think this lens is also made of plastic. So that's another interesting thing about the camera. Let's see. And I used it before the lens fell out. Let's see if it could take any decent photographs. The first photograph was taken with the camera on a tripod and I decided to use a tripod with this box camera because I know that the shutter speed is probably quite small. Plus it seems to work and I know I've got a slightly unsteady hand so the tripod came in and I was really impressed with how good this camera actually was. I mean if you look at the edges of the photos you can see quite a lot of distortion but in the middle the lens is working absolutely fine. We can even read some of the writing and some of the number plates and it proves to be a camera of some interest and I was yes as you will know from watching some of these videos I am sometimes very surprised with how some of the most basic cameras can give you quite good results and remember this is a 6x9 negative so the negative is large and that will give some detail even with a plastic lens that I found fell off in the end but and I would have been really um, I would have found it quite helpful if the lens had moved and I would have then taken some portraits and some closer up images however as you can see with bright sun and I took this film it was December but it was a bright sunny afternoon and I think the camera is on about f11 but it works absolutely fine and I could imagine in the 1950s this being a very popular camera and you can see why it was a reasonable price it's an interesting design and it's a camera of some character 
So if you see one, you might as well try it, but be aware of the lens and be aware of the shutter. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.